Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Mass Dragon with 1057 rating versus I Love Juice with 1199 rating. So it's gonna be another high rated DB video, and with that being said, let's hop right in. We're gonna go ahead and we are going to see Mass Dragon win the rock, paper, scissors, shoot, and they will decide to go first. 44 versus 60. Opening hands, we have Ecclesia, Adara, Ashina, Moe, Desires. They have Valor, Tracer, Griffin, Gamma, and Ash. So they have a lot of hand traps going in the second. We draw Dragon versus Sword Soul. Special summon out Ashina. And then we're going to get rid of that. Obviously opening like Ashina plus another Tenyi. That's not Shatana. It is pretty cracked. Um, it allows you to have like an engine rolling at all times. Um, you know, because you'd have like Otter add back. But also start getting the interruptions. Activate Desires. Go Banish. And then we get the draw. Um, let's see. We draw into Long Young Mo Yi. Okay, we banish Shadana, Blackout, Ataya, and Adara. Seen more and more people starting to cut down to two Adara in their deck list. And uh, two Vishuda. Just because uh, Vishuda is not even like the best going in the second card right now because of Scythe. But Moe reveal, Chain Veiler on that. And then they're going to Long Young effect. And then they're going to get hit with Gamma on Long Young. Yeah, and they're probably like, wow, I really just got hit by everything. Um, is there a way to play through this? Because you'd have to link off. I mean, yeah, no, there isn't. If you play the link three, then yes, because you could make the link three here special. No, you can't specially kill you. You can specially kill you because we got hit with Ash on Ashina. Okay, then you could summon out Tyre from deck. Alright, maybe. Make Monk, Otter Effect, grab back Ashina, and then get rid of those. Oh, they actually play the Link 3. Oh, that's insane. Ecclesia, Tag Out, and the Taya. Oh my gosh. This is insane. I'm not even going to lie. This is wild. Banish Long Young, bring out Token, go in the Grandmaster. Grandmaster Effect, Chain Link 1, Taya, Chain Link 2. Like, this deck does not combo through three hand traps very often. I, want to say really, I mean, we got a Grandmaster Interruption out of it. We would also have Blackout, but we banished it. That's only if we even want it. We can pretty much, you know, you might be able to assume the opponent doesn't have the greatest hand. Currently, with how, like, deck building is right now, like, they draw, like, you know, two hand traps-ish, plus a brick, and then engine. So if they hand trap you three times, I would assume there's at least one brick in hand. Here, there's not really a brick. Um, puts a body on board. Level 7, it's Wing Beast, you can make Romulus with it. They're going to write, bring out Token, bring out uh, bring out the Fateful, and then activate the Griffin effect. So Special Summon out, and then Fateful effect to go search. Then that's going to go grab Draco back. Uh, Fateful effect to grab Temple, and then we can discard the Draco back. And then Draco back effect to re-equip. And this is just game. Um, they have full combo. Uh, yes, yeah, so they go ahead and decide to bounce back to Draco Master. Just because, I guess it just doesn't matter. Uh, special Summon, Normal Summon. Said, <laughs> shake my head. I mean, it could have literally been an, a, like, the second Ash Blossom, to be honest. And you still just lose. Halk Effect. Grant, you just Griffin Negate it. They know both the cards in your hand. One was grabbed off Otterra. The other one was searched off Grandmaster. So, bring out Red Rose. Synchro in the Shooting Riser. Shooting Riser, Chain Link 1. Red Rose, Chain Link 2. Go ahead, special summon out Rox Rose from deck and dump snow. Rox Rose, grab Basil Rose, shoot. And then after that, we're going to link the Rox Rose into a Pisty. Activate Basil Rose, shoot. Summon back out Red Rose. And then we're going to link off. Make the Striker Dragon effect. Go search boot. They admit the feet there. Yeah, I was going to say, this going to take a while, but we'll get the game eventually. And then moving on into the next game. We are going to see Sword Soul go first again. Opening hands, we have Adara, Nib, Ashina, Ogre, Vessel. Still pretty good going first, no doubt. They have Red Rose, Itali, Quick Launch, Driver, and Imperm. So this time they only have Imperm as a going second card. If this was Gamma, this hand would be insane. Uh, special Summon Ashina, make it in the Monk. Adara, affect the Special Summon out. And then after that, we're going to be activating the Ashina effect to banish and go summon out of Ashuda. And then activate the Vessel. So Vessel's going to dump Ashina to grab Adara. 
I don't know why we're doing it there, to be honest. It's kind of random, but okay. Then we make Grandmaster, get hit with Imperm, Adara, grab back Ashina. You can't be like, because like, you can't be like, oh, because we have Tennies on board. But like, the, the, the monk is what does it. Like, not not the guys. Um, gets hit with Imperm on Grandmaster, and then just passes. So we have Nib, Ogre, and an Imperm. They draw Fateful, activate Fateful, activate Eateli. And then Eteli goes through to go ahead and special summon out the Ziamen from deck. And then activate Fateful Adventure, Chain Ogre, Ziamen, pay 600, Grandmaster to negate that. And then activate the Quick Launch. The quickest of launches will bring out Tracer from deck. And then Tracer and the Striker Dragon. Striker Dragon effect to go search. And then that grabs Boot. Turn those into a dark, activate boot, boot effect, summon back out Tracer from the graveyard. And then dark effect to take Vishuda. Okay, normal summon out Red Rose on summon, activate Nib. I'm trying to think if there was any way better for them to play through that. I was trying to like, think about that while they were doing their combo. Like, what if you just don't quick launch out Tracer and you quick launch out Recharger and then normal summon Red Rose and then make Shooting Riser and then you can Shooting Riser dump and that should be able to like, like assuming you have at least, you know, you'd have a token collector at least in deck at this point. Maybe not Snow because you were going second, but we'd have at least have a token collector. You can make token collectors, start adding extra stuff, applying pressure, they drop Nib, you still have token collector at least. But now you get hit with Nib. Yeah, like, the other route was probably just better, right? Because, like, you don't get hit nearly as hard with Nib. Yeah, okay, for sure. For sure it was the better route, no doubt. Because this, you have nothing right now. Okay, okay. Pass, draw Nib. And then they're going to normal summon out the Adara. Get rid of that. Make Monk. Now, we do have a Shooter Engraver that can bounce the token. We're going to do that. And then Adara effect. Grab back Ashina. I said Calculate. Uh, we could... Banish, go summon out from deck, and then we can turn those into a shaman, shaman effect, summon back out grandmaster. I don't know if that's game. If it would be, it'd be exact, right? Or is it a thousand under? That's 58 plus 16. It's exactly game. Cool. So going on into game three now, we're going to go ahead and we are going to see the dragon player decide to go first. Opening hands, we have emergence, moe, called by, imperm, shatana. They have Gamma, Token Collector, Nib, Boot, Basil. Oh, they brick. That's not how we want Game 3 to go. They draw Emergence. Crazy is like the brick still has Token Collector in it. That card goes stupid. And then activate Long Young Effect. Discard Shatana. They let that go. Special Summon. Bring out Token. Oh, I mean... Maybe you just Gamma that. Because like, now you're somewhat playing a little bit harder into like and out to this card because like if they have chalice right or droplet for this then they make floor you can no longer gamma because you have this nib will get negated by floor it's, it's kind of tough i mean obviously it might be a point in time where like they floor pop token collect to try to go to battle phase and then you activate nib chain gamma but now they're just going to set and pass. The long I'm going to attack, by the way. Pass, they draw Chaos Space. Maybe they also want to save it for like a Chaos Space top deck or something. Gamma can protect if this goes. Uh, Chaos Space, get rid of the Gamma. Go search out Black Dragon on Resolution. Uh, I was going to say, maybe, maybe we see a Called By on the Gamma. But they're going to turn those into Dark. I mean, this is fine. We can also Called By on the Black Dragon because... Yeah, this, uh, they, they were going to get a draw anyways, because they could put this back with Chaos Space. They're getting a body out of it, but, you know, you can't get punished as hard. Uh, Chaos Space, put back, draw, draws into Ogre. And then Battle Phase, beat over Long Young. Okay, we do have a Dark on board. It's not bad. Draw Ecclesia. Oh my gosh, the Ecclesia is really good. Oh, they're using Moe effects, so then they're going to get... Oh, they're letting that go. I was going to say, maybe just Ogre that? Because, like, now if you Token Collector, they still have a Synchro 8. And a Synchro 8 seems pretty good here. And Ogre's not really doing too much. All right, but we're going to go ahead, Baxia. Uh, Baxia Mo, you spin dark, draw in the Ash Blossom. 
and then pass turn uh, decides to not be over the collector normal summon ogre and then they're gonna get rid of those go in the shooting riser shooting riser effect they're gonna chain ash blossom on that pass turn draw ogre and then emergence so emergence go search moe Baxia effect i don't know what they targeted target itself bring out ecclesia normal summon out moe go for Baxia. Baxia Moi, so spin, draw Taya, battle phase, attack for 23. Okay, pass, draw Ogre, and then set Ogre, pass, draw Ogre. Oh my gosh, there's so many Ogres. Normal summon Taya, Taya effect, banish Long Young, bring out Token. Like, I know we could have just done this before. Like, summon Token Collector, activate Imperm. Maybe, like, there's, there's, there's definitely going to be other hand traps. If your dragon opponent hasn't done, like, anything this game, there's got to be bricks and hand traps. Go for Grandmaster. Grandmaster 1, Taya 2. That does resolve. Uh, they want them to get to Long Young. They want them to play in the nib. Baxi a pop. Bring out Otara. And then turn those into the Chow Fang. Go Battle Phase. And then they're going to attack over Token Collector. Now... They are going to be able to get Chow Fing effect, the special summon out from deck that's going to bring out the Otara. Then it does actually summon a defense specifically. Uh, go for Monk, activate Emergence. Yeah, if you read this, um, you special summon one worm monster from your deck in defense whose original attribute matches the original attribute of one of those destroyed monsters on the field. And that's when your opponent has a monster destroyed by battle or card effect, by the way. Or card effect. Um, Otara, grab back Long Young. And then Long Young Effect, discard Special Summon, bring out Token. Now get rid of those. And then that's going to go into the Long Young Synchro. Graveyard Effect, burn for 12. Ashina, banish, summon Vashuda, make Monk. Vashuda, bounce the set. Link those off, go in the Shaman. And then we're going to Shaman Effect. So we're just styling. Bring out Grandmaster. Okay, so this is pretty good. Uh, if you read over this card, it doesn't, like, negate the monsters. It just means this way you can't activate their effects, which is good, because otherwise they could drop Nib, because this would be negated. But past turn, they draw Gamma. More bad cards. They said, show Nib, do it. Bro, okay, like, no offense, but you're acting like that was a hard read. I mean, your opponent literally didn't play this game. They played one card. They literally played one card. And somehow... They still didn't feel fully out of the game until multiple turns in. This like really does get hurt. Really bad by Token Collector. It's crazy that it comes back. But, seeing how long the match was, it was only 21 minutes long. And with that being said, DB Grinder, signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.